What's up, what's up, what's up, boy of TimbuBeats.com? How y'all doing today? Happy Monday. Hope you had a beautiful weekend. Here in South Texas, it was a little wet, a little dry. We got crazy season right now. I don't know how y'all part of the world is, but around here it's a little... <sighs> but uh, it's Monday. I used to do Monday morning motivations all the time, and I feel like I, I fell off. So I'm trying to get back to y'all. I'm trying to get back to doing what I love to do, which is give y'all so many different pieces of me. Learn to love yourself as you are who you are, mentally, emotionally, you know what I'm saying? You got to learn who you are and love who you are. How are you going to be able to love someone if you don't love yourself? You know, you can put everything into people and you can give them all of your love, but how are you going to learn to accept love if you don't first love yourself? I tell you this. Um, Today, if you don't know, we started the um, 100 Day Life Changer Challenge today where I'm gonna be working out and working on my craft for the next 100 days. I'm gonna be vlogging it on this channel, so pay attention to it, but on some backstory to pertain to that. Um, 2015, I ended up entering a weight loss challenge. I, I, was, a, I was about 280 pounds. Um, 280, 90 pounds, 287. Um, and I, I entered it on a whim, you know, it was some money involved and I like, I like money, you know, ended up losing 30 pounds winning the competition. But after that, I ended up losing another 50 pounds, you know, and I ended up losing a total of about, about 80 pounds. And in my adult life, I've never been anywhere close to being, you know what I'm saying, smaller build, you know, so. I, I had my sex in on, baby, I ain't gonna lie to you. And I kept it off for about two and a half, three years. But since I've been building this channel, since I've been building this, uh, 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 this, this profile, this, this company, I, I, I've gotten lazy, I'm not gonna lie. I eat a lot worse, I stopped working out, you know, I got comfortable, I got sedate, you know what I'm saying? My life had changed. So I started expanding again. And I'm not gonna lie. I was ashamed of myself. I thought people around would be ashamed of me because they see me lose so much weight and get so small just to eat my way back into being the size I was before. And to be honest with you, I was very down and depressed about it. I didn't I didn't understand the psychological impacts that it had on me, you know. Even with when but when I didn't before I lost weight, I didn't care about nothing. I didn't care about what I ate, how I ate, who seen me eat. I was enjoying my life. It is what it is. But after I lost the weight, um, this eating in front of people became a challenge. You know, I didn't want people to look at me and see me eating something that wasn't healthy for once and judge me. I remember and probably one of the low points in my whole weight loss journey. I had won the competition and my dry I hadn't ate nothing remotely fattening. And I told myself, if I win this competition, I'm gonna give me a slice of pizza. And I went to, I won, and I went to a brick oven pizzeria and got me a, a, a real piece of pizza. It was a big old slice on the real, not no pepper pizza hut type stuff. It was some real brick oven style pizza. And I got it and I was so ashamed to eat it I had, I hid it and ate it in my car. And from there, you know, just going places, I didn't want people to see me eat, especially if I was eating something that wasn't particularly healthy because I felt like people were going to judge me. And it was the oddest thing when I was bigger, I didn't care what people thought about me eating. I didn't care about nothing. I was comfortable with being the, the Larry that I am. That's my name, Larry. You know what I'm saying? But... Once I got smaller, I was so concerned with 
what you thought, what, what people was thinking, how are they looking at me, are they waiting for me to fail, you know what I'm saying? And slowly but surely I gained the way back, you know? And it put me in a real dark place. I didn't, I didn't step out the house for a while. And anybody who knows me, I'm a wildflower. I used to be out and about and, and trying to be in the mix. And I just didn't want to be in the mix. I didn't want my picture on Facebook. I didn't want people, you know what I'm saying, seeing me because I was ashamed of who I was. And it took somebody who really cared about me and to prove to me that, you know what, you're loved regardless. And I, and I believe I've always known it, but you know, when you have that self-confidence and that, that, that downing yourself and you feeling like, you know what I'm saying, you disappointing yourself and the people around you who believed in you, you know what I'm saying, the confidence level will go down, you know. And I'm trying to help y'all prevent that. I forgot how to love myself and I had to start building those building blocks back, you know. I, I have people around me who love me and they tell me all the time who I am to them. But I had to believe it myself. And you know, I think for all of us, we have to feel some kind of force field, some kind of barrier to protect ourselves from ourselves sometimes. Uh, and that's all I wanna say, man. Learn to love yourself. Find something that you love about yourself. Tell yourself that and elaborate on that. Build on top of that and see where it comes from, where it goes, you know. I was down on myself, my confidence was low and I had to realized that I was a beautiful person, whether I was bigger or I was smaller. But for the purpose of, of my, my wedding and just my overall physical health, you know what I'm saying? I need to lose this this extra weight and get back to, you know what I'm saying, being, you know what I'm saying, active. You know what I'm saying? I got young kids and stuff, you know? I can't be, you know what I'm saying, so tired and lethargic all the time. So anyway, like I said, you know, I'm inviting y'all to, if y'all want to change y'all's lives and y'all want to change y'all's situations, you want to be more productive in your craft and be more, you know what I'm saying, energetic in whatever you do, I ask you to join me in the 100-Day Life Changer Challenge, you know, on TimBuckBees.com. And that's all I'm going to say today. It's Monday. Hope y'all have a good day. Hope you have a beautiful work week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm out. Yay.